Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming for you a different type of video for me. I haven't ever done one of these. I'm going to be doing a review, obviously, as you can see from the title of the video, on my Alexander Wang handbag. Um, I adore this handbag. I absolutely love it. Um, I've had it for a while now, so I feel like I can really tell you the full details of it um, and the exact one that I have and kind of the whole purchasing process for me and why I got this one instead of, I know that the Rocky is really popular, so I'll go into it, um, but if you want to see kind of my thoughts on this lovely bag right here, then please keep watching. So there is nothing in this bag right now. I took everything out just so I could talk about it a little bit easier and like show you um, everything about it, but it is the, like, I believe medium-sized one. I know that they make a smaller one, um, and I'll tell you really quickly the difference between the Rock Go and the Rocky. This is the Rock Go. It zips straight across the top, just like this, and the Rock Go zips, like, around this way, um, and you can kind of see the zippers on the front, so I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of, like, zips around, and there's just, like, a whole entrance instead of this, which is straight across, and then the whole bag opens up. So I purchased this one and I have it in the gold hardware. Now, the I think that's probably my favorite part about the bag. Obviously, that's what how you know this is that bag is from the bottom, but I purchased the gold hardware that isn't like too gold or too silver, um, which is what I really like about it because I feel like I can get away with wearing it with either. I have seen the rose gold. It looks very pink to me um, and I wear a lot of gold jewelry and then if I'm switching, I'm obviously in silver. I don't wear a lot of rose gold jewelry even though I love rose gold. Um, so for me, it made the most sense to get this one. So I will first talk about the cons of the bag, um, and then I'll go into all the things that I love about this bag, just because I feel like it's easier and I can kind of explain it to you a little bit better. So cons of the bag. Number one, it is heavy. This has nothing in it, and these, like, gorgeous bottom is very, very, very heavy. Um, and I know a lot of girls and Everybody is like, why would I want to carry a bag that's heavy before I put stuff in it? I am with you. I totally understand. But a lot of really nice bags are made with nicer hardware and they just are heavier. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. Um, bags that aren't heavy, if you are like in the market, Louis Vuitton bags are not heavy. Rebecca Minkoff bags are not heavy. Um, just some bags that I carry. I've had some Michael Kors bags. They've been heavy in the past, but there are different, obviously, ones. My mom has a gore just YSL bag that I steal from her all the time. Not heavy. Super, super nice. Um, but I love this bag and I think it's so classic in the shape. So that's kind of why I picked it. The other con for me, the only other, well, I guess I have one other besides this one, is that it dips down because it's so heavy. So when you stack it, it does lose its shape. I don't know if you could buy any like sort of shape protector for these. If you guys know of anything, let me know in the comments down below because I'd definitely be interested in like buying something that keeps it straight. I know like Louis Vuitton has some, people make stuff like that for Louis Vuittons um, for the, I'm drawing a blank. I'm staring at it, but I can't think of the name for the speedy bags for Louis Vuitton so that they stay square at the bottom. So this kind of needs that same spiel. Now, some things that, okay, and then the last con, I guess, would be the price. It is a pricey bag. It's not inexpensive at all. I did get mine from Neiman Marcus where when you buy, you get like some cash back or you get like a gift card back. So it was great because then I was able to get some other things that were on my wish list when I, when I could save up for them again. And then I felt like I kind of got two things at once so that was really great i will go into all the things that i love about this bag because there are so many so one i just love the style of this bag i think it is so cute it's like a mini duffel bag and the leather is so soft um and i love this hardware it's kind of like badass in my opinion um but also just really edgy but this is a very classic bag so that's my style is definitely like classic with an edge to it so any bag that kind of looks like that i am immediately attracted to um some other things that i love about it are the how comfortable these straps are i'll show you like it sits so nicely like this and then you can also just kind of carry it to the side and then obviously the strap is like amazing. So you can wear it up on your shoulder um, and then you can adjust this strap to make it crossbody as well. I don't love a huge crossbody bag. So for me, 
I don't do that, but I just love all the different ways that you can carry this bag. So to me, that's awesome. So the reason that I chose the Rock Go instead of the Rocky is because it zips across and it's easier to get in. I hate when I can't like see into my bag or if I can't leave it open. I hate having to enclose a bag every time I want to get in and out. So this bag is super spacious inside and you can really open it and see everything. It has two pockets for like cell phones. Um, not that you have more than one or not that I have more than one and then one really nice zipper pocket and then it's just completely open in there and it fits so much stuff. Um, the other thing I love about it is like the pebbled leather. Um, I just think that it's, it wears really nicely. I, again, I've had this bag for a really long time and you would never know. Like it looks pretty much brand new to me um, and it's gotten love. It's been on vacation. It's been wherever it goes. Um, the other things that I love about it is it's really, really versatile for summer and winter. Um, a lot of bags that are black leather, I sometimes feel like it's a little harsh in the summer. But this one, because of the brightness of the hardware, I feel like you can really get away with it. And I just absolutely love that. Um, but yeah, so those are some things that I love about it. Again, I just absolutely adore it. I did want to kind of just share with you because I don't feel like I ever explained some of the more higher end stuff that I have and like why I purchased it and if I regret it or not and this bag I absolutely do not regret. I feel like I could have it forever. Again, I bought this over like I want to say four years ago and it, they still make it. It's still out and I just feel like when you're going to purchase a bag like that, it's so important that it's unless you have infinity funds, but if you're saving for a bag, get something that really is classic and that you can wear all the time and really get your use out of so you don't feel as guilty for purchasing it. Because I don't feel guilty at all for purchasing this. I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna do like, I don't know, I wear it all the time and I, I feel like I'm gonna over bear it, but I just, I adore it. I've never gotten sick of it. I always love looking at it. It's so, so, so pretty and I just love it. So um, I've done a what's my bag video before. If you guys want me to do an updated one with the bag that I'm currently carrying, that's the Louis Vuitton Speedy. Um, it's the white and blue like Damier one. I've been carrying that for the summer. If you want me to do an updated what's in my bag video, then give this video a thumbs up and I will make sure to film it for you guys. But that is it. A super quick video, but I just wanted to show you guys um, the bags that I've been loving and kind of why I purchased this bag and if you're interested in purchasing it I'll leave a link to the exact bag below if I can find it so I love you guys so 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 much thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye